In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your existing Linux Mint 22 version to the new version, Linux Mint 22.1. And with this, welcome to Linux Ort. My name is Jean and today I'm showing you when you have the Linux Mint version 22, which has been released about six months ago. If you have this version already installed, how to upgrade to the first so-called service pack upgrade. You can very easily check if you have the right version by typing in information in your system menu here and we see system info. And here I see OK Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. If you have an older Linux Mint version, just have a look onto my YouTube channel. I also uploaded a video how to upgrade your existing 21.3 version to 22, for example. At the first time, I would highly recommend you by doing updates on your system. So we are opening up our update manager here. We select refresh. And if there are any new updates, how you see it on my screen, then I hit install updates because we need everything up to date before we are switching from Linux Mint version 22 to 22.1. While this is downloading and installing, just have a look also on uh, our YouTube channel. We also uploaded a video about all new features about Linux Mint 22.1. Just have a look there. Um, I highly recommend you this video. Let's come to another question. Do you really need to upgrade to the latest service pack version, so to say? No, you don't. You also have security updates for older service pack versions because also Linux Mint 22 is supported until 2029. Um, but it's highly recommended by upgrading to the last available service package of your uh, Linux Mint big version. So in the end, we will get also Linux Mint 22.3 this is good and if you want then to do an upgrade to the newer big version then I highly recommend you to take a lot more time and also to do some more very important backups and because that are really really big changes for your system so small updates like we are showing it in this video are completely okay if you are doing them next by but if you change your system a lot or if you download it and installed very many foreign software packages you can also check this by going to the software sources here and just have a look if you have anything in additional repositories or ppas if you have so it could be useful to disable them for a specific time to do the upgrade. But if you, for example, have the Brave browser in it or Google Chrome browser in it, then please keep this enabled because yeah, a browser is a very security aware piece of software. Now our update manager says our system is up to date. Then let's open up a time shift in our menu. This is our system snapshot tool on Linux Mint. If you didn't set it up yet, then just follow these steps. And if you have enough disk space, um, if you don't have enough disk space or you don't want to use a time shift, I would say it's kind of okay to doing the update without a system snapshot in your bag. But to be safe, I would highly recommend to do a very quick system snapshot in 99 of 100 the cases everything works fine with the Linux Mint update, but sometimes there also could be some errors, um, especially if you had many foreign packages in additional software sources or PPAs. So uh, this could be a threat. If you don't have it at all, you can kind of safely proceed also without a time shift snapshot and without worrying about your system stability. Here we can select our new snapshot location. Then I can select some snapshot levels. I'm uh, disabling them. For me, this is completely okay. Maybe do monthly keep two. These are also fine. But at the current time from Linux Ort, we are kind of against time shift for the daily use because um, time shift is not helping in every case like you expected. Just have a look to another video of us where I explain this more detailed. Very important to exclude all files from your users. So if you also want to do backups of your personal data, then um, maybe do this with Pika backup 
or also GR doing something like this. Time shift is only for the system and now you could create some snapshot. I'm not doing this because I have very low disk space available. So I'm skipping this at this point. But to be sure, it could be very helpful to do a time shift snapshot just in case. Then I close time shift again and we are opening up our update manager. And now our system is up to date. We maybe have a time shift snapshot and I would say let's start right through doing our update. For that I select edit here on our update manager and here we see upgrade to Linux Mint 22.1 Xia. So I'm opening this up and here we are in our introduction screen. Just hit next. Then there are some important release notes. Could be very useful just to look them through. Especially if you have some issues after it. Could be very helpful for example for some sound issues, group themes, the home directory encryption and something like this could be very useful. For the most of you there isn't anything important. I am going to the next site then you can see the new features about Linux Mint 22.1 or also watch our video about it and then we see here the wrist upgrading Linux Mint 22.1. This is okay for me to be sure have a time shift snapshot if you are unsure at this point. It's better to cancel this update here at this point. Keep running on your old version. As I said Linux Mint 22 is also supported with any updates up to 2029. So I'm selecting apply here and I'm typing in my password. Wait a minute and then we are seeing this is all downloading now every new packages. Sometimes windows are closing and opening up again. So just be a bit patient here. It takes about 5 to 20 minutes depending on your network and computer speed. After about 5 minutes my computer got updated. Operating system was successfully upgraded. So we can now reboot our computer and we see a much darker taskbar here. Also just a small tip if you didn't watch our latest video about backgrounds I showed you many cool options how to optimize your desktop backgrounds. For example get daily ones of the internet. Just have a look at it if you want to. Um, yeah, this is quite looking like Windows 11 to be honest. So maybe I'm going with, I don't know, maybe hiding. I, I'll take hiding. So and this is it. Yeah, now you have upgraded your Linux Mint version to the newest version here. For example, also Linux Assistant shows us uh, that everything is at 22.1 quite nice. So in the end if you experienced some issues it could be also a good idea to rolling back to your snapshot of time shift if you did one. Also if your computer shouldn't boot up at all this could happen in very special cases. Then you could also start your computer with a Linux Mint boot stick and then start time shift from your Linux Mint boot stick and time shift will recognize your time shift snapshots from your computer and you can re restore your Linux Mint from your live USB stick which is also quite cool. So this was it for today. If you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips because every week and at the current time daily we are publishing some videos and shorts around Linux and open source. So just make sure to check them out and see you on the next one. Bye.